Hello everyone, welcome back to Game with Jeff. My name is Jeff and today on Rotato we're going to attempt a farmer demon potentially endless run depending on how it goes. We're going to do the pruner farmer thing and see if this works. Um, so basically what happens if you played farmer pruner before you know what's going on, um, you get one harvesting for every consumable, you pick up while at max health and you start with 20 harvesting and your harvesting is increased by extra 3% at the end of the wave. So if you're able to um, pick up enough materials, you scale your harvesting completely out of control and enemies dropping less materials doesn't really matter. Demon converts your materials to max HP at the end of the wave at a 13 to 1 rate. So if you have 100 materials, uh, it'll convert 50% of those, which is 50, which divides down to uh, 39 is the, I think, the highest one you can do. So it's 3 HP if you have 100. And then the GMO mod uh, debuff, which we are going to sell when we get to the first shop. We cannot sell it for then, which is fine. Now, I believe the way this works is that um, HP is converted before um, harvesting is applied. It kind of looked like that's what happened there. So because of that, um, we may want to save earlier on. I'm going to take a tax speed to start with. OK, we're going to sell this. Nice. We get a free one dollar. Nice, nice, nice. All right. So we want to get six pruners. We want to buy anything that gives us max HP. Um, that's just kind of how demon works on shop one. Normally you would go like primitive items and that's great. Um, We'll, we'll get all these like other things that we want later, but we can't really deal with it now. Uh, the gentle alien is just good. It's neutral. All right, there's that. So like alien worm, it's positive. Gives us HP regen. It does hit our consumable heal, which is a stat we care about, but we can live without it. And then we can just save our materials because that will convert to max HP later. Uh, the hardest part about this build is probably the fact that between like waves three and nine ish, we'll say you're pretty weak. Um, if you could make it past wave nine, at least a normal farmer, you kind of get out of control, though. I suspect the same thing's going to happen on demon. I don't really know, but I feel like this is something that's going to like break the character in half. Uh, I'm going to take movement speed so we can avoid getting hit. And I think we want luck too for the late late game. At least that's what I've got in my head. Uh, luck is being like a source of damage. We take a pruner. Um, I'm gonna take this turret because it's pretty good early on. Roll one more time. I'll take another pruner. Uh, I guess we roll one more time. See if we get HP somewhere. Nope, just another pruner. Well, that's fine. OK, we're going to save the materials so that we can convert those to HP. I think I would really like a piggy bank, a crown, tractor, any any type of like high economy items to start with would be really nice. And we'll just kind of make it through until then. Until we get like actually strong. Because there's like a short period of time between like wave 10 and wave like 30 where we should be able to just buy whatever we want. And then it gets a little more difficult. It's up to 14 HP. Take four melee damage. We still have to be able to kill things. Um, I'm going to take the crit chance. All right. Now it costs two dollars. That's or two HP, not two dollars. Take a tree. That's a good source of stuff. Um, hmm. Garden cost four, you say. All right, this is kind of a big sacrifice here. But we'll just go down to four max HP and try to survive this wave. If we survive this wave and don't get hit, we should be doing pretty good. Now, there's really no reason to get hit on wave four. Like, I'm being honest with you, there's really not a reason to get hit before like wave 11. If you're playing correctly, but I've been not playing that well lately. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, I won't say it's out of the realm of possibility that I get a hit here, but we shouldn't. 
All right, we're back up to 11 HP, which is respectable, I guess. I'm going to take six max HP here so we can shop. Um, yeah, because we want to buy pruner. I don't know how much else we actually want to buy. I think we kind of are in the business for saving as best we can. They do scale off 80. Wait. Oh, frick, I forgot. Uh, Purple pruners like weird nerf. It's it's a bug that's been in the game since this last patch and it scales lower than it should. Uh, so we need to figure I don't know, we need to turn this into a into a legendary one as soon as we can. I'm just going to save and turn all the materials into HP for us. Peacock's really good long term. It puts us on death next wave if we get hit. It's a little scary. Maybe we just go like this. So we really need to hunt down the eggs in this wave. Um, okay, well, we failed to do the first one. Because we are going to get uh, close to one shot here. Uh, it really depends on what we get hit by. Taking double damage. We have 18 life. I think we survive one hit from probably everything, but I'm not entirely sure. Either way, I'm going to pretend like it would kill us. Okay, and it definitely would. Thankfully, those guys don't do that much damage, the slow aliens. All right, we lost a few harvesting there at the end. Ooh, improved tools. That's that's an early improved tools, and it's pretty good. Um, Wow, all these things are great. Let's take the six melee damage. Ten harvesting. Uh, so here's the thing here. I want to get power generator, which would make legs pretty much just like strictly better than triceps. But if we don't get it, triceps are going to be more important. And we want potato throwers later, but we can't take them now, obviously. So let's just buy a tree and another tree. And a pruner. Uh, we're done with turrets. The one turret's going to be plenty for us. Hmm. If we were just going to wave 20, I'd probably just take a rocket launcher now and be happy with it. But we're playing for the long game. We could take a white flag. Enemies don't really matter. All right, let's buy another pruner. I'll roll one more time. I really want to find a piggy bank. That's a shame. Uh, OK, we get a dangerous bunny. We get to free reroll. Free reroll is important because obviously we're like hunting for items and when items cost HP, you can't really just like buy whatever you want on a whim as much as you can uh, normally. Especially, you know, in the early game like this. Now that peacock did give us quite a bump in like damage and XP gain, honestly, which is really nice getting it before wave nine. Now, if we could find another peacock for wave nine, that'd be crazy. And it would be really like put us in a really strong spot going into the teen waves. This wave kind of sucks, but it always kind of sucks, so it's all right. Alright, we have 34 HP now, 9% speed is easy, 9 max HP. All of this is good. Um, we might end up with explosive damage, but I don't know yet, so we're just let it be. Can't can't go wrong with dangerous bunny. You really can't. Um, let's take another pruner. Plasma sledgehammer. That's a good one, but we're not really in the business for that. Acid is not great here. Let's just save so we can get uh, a ton of materials or a ton of HP on the next uh, wave. We do need to find a padding 
R2, R3, and some alien eyes. It's quite a few things we need to really make this work. Um, we're doing pretty good with weapons, though, which is a good start. I'm also looking for a dusty fedora, which gives you uh, one luck every time you pick up a material at um, max H not material, every time you pick up food at max HP. That's just another thing I'm looking out for. If we don't die. If we don't die. We are still, you know, playing a pretty weak build to try and scale harder. Uh, now we have 52 HP. That's pretty good. Take armor now. Let's roll. This is a lot more complicated than just a solo demon or a solo farmer run. Let's take tentacle. Metal detector's like meh. Take a pruner. There's the padding. I don't like the minus speed, but I think we have to take this. And then let's buy a pruner and roll. I think we can just stop here. No, we can stop here by Kate. Yeah, this is this is fine. All right, we got a lot more survivability that way. We do an OK amount of damage. We're fairly desperate for. Like a crown or some type of other scaling item at this point, but. We'll get there. Hopefully, or we'll just have a, like a cool demon farmer run. I don't know. Although, if you're just playing demon farmer, you might. You might play it a little differently if you weren't attempting to play for endless. Probably ignore luck as a stat altogether. We need some more attack speed. Ooh, that's rough. We got like no harvesting that wave. Not great. Um, I'm gonna sell the bait. Seems like trouble. Take melee damage. We have an elite coming. Not good. Handcuffs very bad here. Uh, we could. Uh, I was gonna say we could take a warrior helmet, but it's actually not really worth it. Garden's fantastic. Pruner's fantastic. Um, Whetstone isn't terrible. We do want a potato thrower. Hmm. The question is, is it early enough for a potato thrower? Probably. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's let's try. I think it's a little early, but maybe. It also helps us a bit in this wave. Um, I don't see us killing the monk boss at all. Like, there's no way. We need some type of AOE. We need like, um, well, what we need is rip and tear. That's what we need. We need rip and tear. We need rip and tear very badly. Also, we're not getting harvesting because we're getting hit. Which is messing up the flow for sure. Because look at this. Oh, all that waste. All right, let's take a black belt. Let's take a ritual. Harvesting, damage. Those are all good things. Another padding. Okay. Okay. A tardigrade. Probably. Probably worth it. Let's take a cyclops horn. We just need more, more damage at this point. 
I'm willing to sacrifice some HP here. Um, roll one more time. Here's another padding. Well, our speed is officially gone. So we have no AoE. And that's not really out of choice. We just really haven't been offered the things we want yet. So we're in pure bullet hell mode as I attempt to keep us alive. Which we do successfully, which is fine. Unfortunately, we don't get to break any trees. But we live. Um, let's take the speed. Seems good. There's community support. Right before a horde, that's good. Spicy sauce is good. Tractor is fine. I, I don't want little muscly dude. Doesn't really work. Picket sign, wrong build. We like some range. There's another tardigrade. Yeah. At some point, tardigrades really pay off. Let's take a scar here. I don't want to go down any more range, but it is what we it is. 127 HP. Community support's big. Because we're really suffering with attack speed and it's not going to solve our problems, but it's definitely going to help. Well, there goes our two tardigrades. This is a struggle. But we are actually going to make materials from this wave, which is different than what we've been doing. We've been being pushed back, but now we're actually pushing forward a little bit, which is a nice touch. Yeah, 187 max HP now, more melee damage, more armor. These are all good things. Still only have two armor. Potato thrower is still not doing very much, but that's okay. Could take a fin. I'm actually going to take the ritual and the fin. And the lumberjack shirt. Um, Take a potato thrower just to upgrade that. There is a hunting trophy. That's a way for get materials. A coupon. Super late to the party, but it's all right. Um, I don't want the missile. I don't think I want the alloy, but maybe I do. We only have 3% dodge. It gives us crit and damage. Sure. And I'm going to get these 4 HP. I'm going to buy those glasses for 4 HP. We need more range. So. Yeah, the hunting trophy is big. We're still lacking payoffs, unfortunately. Which is something we kind of are going to have to figure out. But I don't know. We'll, we'll manage somehow. Maybe if we get enough guard gardens. I was gonna say guardians. If we get enough guardians, we'll be fine. We have gained quite a bit of life steal on the past couple waves, so that's big. Also getting a lot more materials. 198 HP now. Blood donation is very bad for us. Wonderbot, I just want the money. Let's go ahead and take the armor. We can take another potato thrower here. It's starting to get good, but I don't think we want it yet. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll again. Adrenaline is one we definitely want later. 
Okay, we can sell this pruner and buy this pruner. Uh, uh, Repost is also something we kind of are interested in later on. There's that power generator that I wanted and a dangerous bunny. I think we're going to stop now. Okay, speed becomes really good for us. We should be able to kill Mr. Rhino here, even if our damage isn't that amazing. We ran right into that bullet. Like the professional that I am. Um, I think we kill him. It's also possible that we don't. Uh, I don't know. Wave 15 enemies causing us a little bit of trouble here. All right, he's down. We get the full heal. We're all right now. We just kind of get out of dodge because these guys suck. We lost some more harvesting on this wave, but that's okay. Ow. I don't know. That guy seemed extra buff. All right, 243. We have... Incinerary turret, no. Garden, yes. Exoskeleton, yes. Definitely. Oh, 20% attack speed? Four armor, give me attack speed. Give me that range, put us back into positive. Okay, my shades, huh? They don't scale very well, so we don't really want them. Potato thrower is pretty nice, though. Whetstone's good. Sniper gun, no thank you. Focus is like, meh. We don't really need it. It is another potato thrower. I don't think we're at the point yet where we dive into that. Octopus? Nope. Med kit. Possibly? It's a lot of HP regen. I'm going to take this Lucky Charm, too, and put us in the positive. We don't... See, one thing I'm worried about is we don't have that much harvesting right now. We only have 669. That's, like, really low. But... But that's only a problem after... <laughs> After wave 20. All right, we're doing a lot better all of a sudden. And we're gonna get two legendaries from the bosses, so there's potential. I mean, there's stuff we need. Like, we don't have Anvil yet. Kind of rough. Uh, let's sell that. We can go ahead and take the armor there. Just a fine deal. Wings is insane. Sad Tomato is just kind of bad. Metal detector is good. Weird food's good. More pruners that don't fit. There's a bowler's hat. Sure. Another padding. All right. Pruner, tentacle. These are all things I'm here for. All right. We just cash in on our piggy bank. as we continue to get stronger. Still not like um, too insane at the moment, for sure.
But at least we do have the extra potato thrower, or like the potato thrower already loaded in, so it can help us like switch to it when we want to. It's a lot easier to find a weapon when you have one of them. Apparently our lifesteal is pretty good now too. Three hundred fifty-one HP, nice. Uh, we'll take luck because elemental doesn't matter. We have zero dodge. It's kind of funny. I'm just gonna take. I'll take dodge, sure. Um, I think I'm supposed to take range damage here, probably. All right, I'm gonna make sure we click endless now. That's important. Anvil, yes, another repost, good. The baby with a beard, also quite good. Spicy sauce is good. We can spend a lot of, like, HP here. Another tardigrade is good. Handcuffs is obviously still terrible. Um, Crown, I don't even know how that works. I think it helps. We'll see. I think it just I think it actually just did nothing for us, but um, not entirely sure. OK, let's just endless now. So this is 60 second wave instead of the normal 90. It's about the only difference. Um, we should be able to kill both these guys pretty easily. We have almost 300 HP. We don't do a ton of damage, but that's because we're missing parts of the build for sure. It's important that we kill both of them, though. Uh, we need the legendaries to, like, help us out. Notice we are actually able to just stand on the bosses now, though, which is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, range damage is becoming pretty important. Obviously, rip and tear would be great. There's a lot of things that would still be really good for us that we can pick up. Ton of materials, ton of HP. Gnome is not it. Um, a hundred percent XP gain. I have been told that this item is actually absurd, but the enemy speed is minus fifteen right now. So I, I don't. Let's get take the money. Let's get crit. Couch, not. That's not it. All right. These are important shops here. Kind of. We don't want to spend too much money. Also, our money kind of fuels itself. So let's just buy Dangerous Bunny, uh, roll with it, and then just go on to the next wave. All right, we've got these two, which shouldn't be too bad. Although we don't want a million of the baby aliens to spawn or the big old blade boys to spawn. That would be bad. Would be a very, very bad time. to get our HP back before we pick up all these things and mess up our harvesting. We have so much life. So many enemies. A ricochet wouldn't be too terrible. I think if we got a ricochet, I'd be interested in starting to pick up some more uh, potato throwers, but as of right now, no. OK, harvesting went down by quite a bit. Handcuffs again just kills us, so let's not take that. Take range damage, take uh, speed. Really would like a ricochet. Um, not a gnome. 
Take crit chance though, sure, and dodge. Those are fine. I think we take a metal detector. Um. Okay. Bloody hand, huh? I don't know. On one hand, we have three tardigrades. On the other hand, we're getting hit constantly. Anyway. Rip and tear. Okay. Uh, vigilante ring. Yep. We're sacrificing a lot of uh, HP here for this. That was a huge damage boost, though. And I don't think it matters so much. The tardigrade thing was a nice idea, but bloody hand's gonna be too good for this. Now we can life. No, life steal is damage. Speed is damage. HP is obviously damage. Range attack is damage. Just try to turn every stat into damage. If we get a lucky coin. That'd be nice. Getting the materials, that's for sure. Uh, gentle alien, yeah, we need more enemies. 12% movement speed's really good. Plastic explosive is great. Um, elusive ghost, there we go. Dodge capped, increased by five. Life steal for every dodge. Life steal's converted to dodge. And a hunting trophy. And we don't need a panda. Do you want a spicy sauce? We can go ahead and sell this pruner. And now we have full potato throwers. Get this coupon. Save. All right. Now we're talking. So elusive ghost item converts. Let's just look. Let's just read it. Dodge caps increased by 5%. Uh, so we have 65% max dodge. We get 2% lifesteal for every 1% dodge. 20% of your lifesteal is converted to dodge at the end of a wave. But the way it works is because your lifesteal is converted to dodge, that increases your lifesteal. So it's this like, it feeds upon itself. It's really broken. I, I, uh, yeah, it's one of the dumbest things in the game. Also, it's my buddy Elusive Ghost's YouTube channel. Go check him out. He's awesome. Um, I think he's playing Ravita right now. But yes, uh, that item kind of does some stupid things. And also, now that we have Bloody Hand, it kind of makes sense to pick up a few other items since we're ignoring Tardigrade stuff. wonder how far this build can go now. We have a single anvil that's going to be giving us stuff. I'll go and take an alien tongue. Um, take 12% dodge here. Let's do a tentacle. And a garden? Technically, I guess, probably. Another baby with a beard is pretty good. Another vigilante rings insane. More trees are good. Um, wings is obviously good. That's that. We have elite. Not even a little bit concerned, honestly. Yet. Later, maybe. Right now, no. Definitely, definitely still looking for a ricochet. I don't know why that item is so exceptionally rare, but it feels like it is. You know, there's some uniques that just feel are 
legendaries, tier fours, whatever you want to call it. Uh, orange items that just feel extremely, extremely rare compared to the others. And I feel like Ricochet is one of them. But no, just I'd take a bandana. Like, that'd be fine. Honestly, just one bandana would make a big difference here. Back to 600, sell Tyler. Uh, I think we take weird food. More crit chance is always better. Mm, we take a banner, I guess. Alien eyes. Good, good. Yes, yes. And the tree. Nuke launcher. Not really. Cyberball. Cyberball is going to be strong. It's fine. We just save. I'm just worried about our like long term prospects now. I feel like we're in. I feel like we're going to fall behind around wave 45 or 50 right now, but maybe I'm wrong. We did get that rip and tear and explosion size up. We are picking up harvesting and luck off of food, and that's going to fuel itself. It's a shame we didn't get the fedora much earlier when we were on six pruners, but it is what it is. Okay, sell that. Let's buy another alien eyes and probably he's not going to buy anything else. Uh, except for explosions eyes. <laughs> <laughs> we will buy explosion size. Um, I guess we'll also buy a bag. We have some number of enemies here. We still surprisingly don't do that much damage. Which potentially concerning. And I don't really know how we're going to get around that either. What is our damage scaling? It's like max HP. We're eventually going to get outscaled by the game. Like, it, it'll continue to drop items for us, but it's not going to be that great. Uh, not eye surgery. We can buy weird food. We can sell metal. We do have regeneration pot. I'll just take it. Um, okay, let's just roll. Oh, vigilante ring. That is, that is some damage. That is a thing. Um, nothing, so we save. We have quite a few Vigilante Rings. We also have an absurd amount of lifesteal. And very, very high attack speed. Hmm. This one's kept me engaged, because normally when I do Endless, we're kind of like insanely overpowered at this point, and it's kind of a drag for, you know, 20 waves, but this one's got me. This one's got my brain working. Let's see what our luck's at after this. I feel like we're doing pretty good now. Though our harvesting has definitely suffered down to 370. Our luck's at 147. It's not nothing. I'm going to take bait here. Crisper again. I'm going to sell it. I don't know. 
Uh, let's roll once. Okay, crit chance. Fine. Potato thrower still only has 70% crit chance, and crit's not as important. Uh, the only reason crit's important is because of uh, the two hunting trophies. I'm gonna take this bag, and then we're just gonna roll. Let's see, it'll take tentacles, of course. Trees. And that's it. It's fine, 700 HP is pretty good. We could probably stand still now. So we do scale range damage pretty well. Like 25% okay. But 20% of HP is just easier to manage. The problem is we just can't shop for it, right? There's nothing in the shop that will actually increase our HP from buying it. Except for... And not even padding, really. Extra stomach. Okay. I wonder how far we can go. I'm 35 right now. Almost a thousand HP. We have Anvil pumping our armor. We have a bunch of rings. And max dodge. Max lifesteal. Extra stomach is nice. We're losing harvesting still, which kind of sucks, but we'll take the bunny. Um, I guess we just take attack speed. Roll, roll. Probably should have bought mouse there. It's really hard to justify buying anything, honestly, for the price. So we get <laughs> when we pick up a material uh, food right now, we get one harvesting, one luck and one max HP up to 10 max HP. As many harvest as many harvesting as many luck as we can find. So. Ten harvesting a wave plus that. Plus what we get from. Uh, end of wave stuff. That's a lot of HP. Still, the lack of grinds is definitely showing. I would probably spend a hundred HP in the shop for it. I think at this point. Um, oh, Cyberball is a good one. There is a Ricochet. <laughs> Spent 120 on a Ricochet. Yeah. Yeah. Do we want to spend 37 on a Cyberball? Probably. Is that the last tentacle? Okay. This was an expensive shop. We have an elite now, which is how are many elites? We lost like 200 damage a shot. But we did get ricocheted, so. It's not all bad news, really. Our region is outrageous. Truly, truly, truly outrageous. Um, the damage isn't though. That's my that's my big concern right now. The damage is not outrageous. I will. Turn this into money. Honestly, I'm just going to take this. 
Oh, yeah, I'll take a bandana too. That's pretty good. Um, let's take crit chance. Let's take community support for a hundred for one hundred and ten. Let's not take community support for one hundred and ten. Um, we're gonna roll until we maybe see something, and then probably to buy nothing. Yeah, that's seems to be a theme now. Enemies are gonna start getting faster. try and get as many uh, passive upgrades as we can. Our actual damage still seems a bit lacking. To 1,054 HP. Um, to uh, the do the reroll thing and then buy nothing. Yeah, sure. Kind of wish you could like high speed the waves, you know, like two x speed. Hyper mode, anyone? Now, obviously, at some points, I would probably get you killed, but at least right now, it'd be kind of neat. It's all about what do we get out of crates now and elite kills. We do still have to move around to destroy trees because the map's so much bigger from the fedora. Killing trees is a big part of our game plan right now. Um, we'll sell that. We can take range. It's fine. And I'll roll three times item price. 5% less. I just don't think we're ever going to use it. Like, I just very much don't expect to spend um, my, uh, spend HP in the shop anymore. There's so much happening. We're definitely taking damage. If at any point we aren't able to kill the enemies with damage, we're in massive trouble, like by the end of the wave. Because then we're not going to be picking up materials. Oh, no, Are we already dead. Wow. Wave 40, huh? It's kind of what I figured, though, based on everything that we saw. Um, it, it just doesn't work that well. It's cute, but you would need a lot more for this to work. You're better off just going double farmer and getting an absurd harvesting. But yeah, you know, it's fun anyway. So 40 with these two. Interesting combination. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked the video. Um, it was quite the journey anyway. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.